This is the Teton Sports Mountain Ultra one person tent. This is the two person version and in this video I'll be going through all the differences between these two tents. The Mountain Ultra one person tent comes with just this single orange pole which you need to put together like this and then connect to the full garments in the tent body. After attaching the pole clips, you'll find this short pole at the top which can be rotated on the spot and this is also to be connected to the two grommets at the top. On the other hand, the Mountain Ultra 2 person tent comes with three separate poles, two orange and one grey. The two orange poles are to be secured diagonally across the tent into the four grommets in the tent body. And the last pole is like the twirly short pole of the one person tent. It goes above the two orange poles, also to be connected to the two grommets at the top. On top of the difference in the pole setup, the one person tent has just two guy lines, while the two person tent has four guy lines. Also, the one person tent has two of these velcro strips underneath the rain fly to attach to the poles, while the two person tent has four of these velcro strips. And the one person tent took four and a half minutes to set up, while the two person tent took six and a half minutes to set up. Taking down both tents is just the opposite of the setup, and it took me about five and a half minutes to take down and pack up the one person tent, while the two person tent took me about six and a half to seven minutes. The peak height inside this Mountain Ultra one person tent is about 38 and a half inches, while the peak height in the two person tent is about 44 inches, or about five and a half inches taller. The dimensions of the one person tent are 81 by 32 inches, while the two person tent has dimensions of 81 by 61 inches. So the length is the same, while the width is slightly less than double. The one person tent can fit up to extra wide single pads, while the two person tent can fit not just two regular pads, but even an entire queen bed. With the rain flag in place over the tent, the one person tent comes with just one vestibule, while the two person tent comes with two vestibules which are exactly the same on both sides. The longest width of each vestibule for the one person and two person tent are exactly the same, coming in at about 25 inches for both tents. And once you tie the vestibule up, the Mountain Ultra one person tent comes with just one door, while the two person tent comes with two doors behind the two vestibules. The size of the one person door is about the same as the doors on the two person tent. However, for the one person tent, you can tie the door fabric up with these two latches near the top of the tent. On the other hand, for the two person tent, each door comes with its own door pocket for stuffing the fabric of the door so no latches like the one person tent. One more significant difference is the ease of zipping. For the one person tent, the door unzips straight and then up, so a little more than halfway. However, for the two person tent, the door unzips almost all the way. So sometimes when I'm unzipping the door, when the zippers hit this bend here, it doesn't snag but I do need to use two hands to get the zipper around this bend. I highly recommend not forcing the zipper around the bin with one hand because after I did this a few times, I noticed that the door stitching started showing signs of wear like this. For storage, the one person tent comes with one small pocket near the door and this pre-attached gear loft that cannot be removed. And there's no lantern loop so I just squished my lantern into the gear loft. The Mountain Ultra two person tent comes with one pocket beside each door, so two pockets all together and this isn't the door pocket that I talked about before. There's also one lantern loop at the very top of the tent and four more loops around it for the provided gear loft, which you can install or remove whichever you prefer. For rainy day ventilation, the two person tent comes with four built in rainfly vents, while the one person tent has just two vents. I prefer the rainfly vent of the one person tent because, in addition to the rainfly vent in the vestibule, there's one more rainfly vent at the back of the tent which is angled downwards. So, even though I left this vent open in the heavy rain, no water got into the tent from this vent. On the other hand, for the two person tent, while the two rainfly vents in the vestibule are exactly the same as the one person tent, the other two rainfly vents are at the very top of the tent and not angled downwards. So during my heavy rain test, because of the angle of the water from the hose, I had to shut the vents at the top of the tent because it was letting in a lot of water. However, for the two person tent's rainfly, I really liked that I could pull the rainfly away from the tent body at both widths of the tent, which gives me two vents. These, plus the vestibules, give me all around ventilation. On the other hand, for the one person tent, well, it has one vestibule at the front of the tent, and I could pull the rainfly away from the tent body at the back of the tent. Unfortunately, I couldn't pull the rainfly at the widths of the tent away from the tent body, so there's less ventilation here. 
The Mountain Ultra one-person tent has a packed size of 22 by 7 by 6 inches, while the two-person tent has a packed size of 23 and a half by 8 by 6 inches. So the two-person tent is only about 20% bigger in packed volume and just 7% longer. The one-person tent weighs about 4.2 pounds for everything, while the two-person tent weighs about 6.4 pounds for everything, so about 50% heavier. I paid about 30 bucks more for the two-person tent than I did for my one-person tent. I bought both these tents from Amazon a couple of years ago, and they both come with the grey carry bag, two compression straps, the black tent body, the grey rainfly, poles in a separate carry case as well as stakes and guidelines in another carry case. If you enjoyed this video so far, please help me hit that like button, thank you, and I really appreciate it. Overall, I really enjoyed using both Teton Sports and Mountain Ultra tents. I think they're both incredible value for money and easily the best budget tents in the market for the price. But personally, in my opinion, I prefer the two-person Mountain Ultra tent. I don't usually camp alone, so it's always nice to have the option to fit more pads and even an entire queen bed. I also like that it has 5.5 inches more headroom and I could fit mattresses as thick as 6 inches while still feeling comfortable. On top of that, the two-person tent has one extra vestibule, one extra door, lots of cross ventilation through the doors, and I really like that I could pull the rain flight away from the tent body all around the tent for all around ventilation. And to top it all off, it's just 30 bucks more expensive, and it packs down to just 20% bigger than the one-person tent. But just remember to shut these two rain flight vents if you expect heavy rain and wind, and to use two hands to work the zipper. On the other hand, if you usually camp alone, if you prefer something that's lighter, takes 2 minutes less to set up, 2 minutes less to take down, and is a little less expensive, I think the one person tent will work great for your needs. But just bear in mind that if you're tall, like 5'10", 5'11", or 6 foot and above, the length of this one person tent is rather short, so you might want to get the two person tent instead, where you can sleep a little diagonally across the tent instead. To find out how these two Teton Sports Mountain Ultra tents compare against other similar tents in the market, check out this video right here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.